Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you another Monster Legends Guide. We're talking about monsters, moves, rune sets, partners, all that jazz. Today we're talking about Vanitas. Uh, the well, I think it's like the sixth one. It's like the sixth monster in the Seven Deadly Sins event. But you know, he's one of the monsters you can get in the Seven Deadly Sins event that's currently out now. Uh, it's currently like 12 or 13 days left, I believe. Uh, I haven't really checked as of late, but you know, I think I'm pretty sure it's around that, uh, that how many days are left. But uh, yeah, this is in terms of like uh, competitive monsters in this event uh you know in terms of like the norm of what's going around lately pigridu and vanitas here are the only ones considered competitively viable uh rabies is really hard to use and, and he's only excels and you know these two monsters don't excel really too well in terms of the competitive scene or what's the mainstream uh what are mainstream competitive monsters and all that jazz uh and honestly you can use any monsters uh uh, for a comp you could just have to build a comp specific comp, and these monsters require less specific partners, uh, and all all that jazz. You know, they're just less adapt. They they can go with pretty much anything. You know, uh, for some of these monsters, you need you need specific people for. But you know, for everything else, I mean, these two, these two are the less ones that need specific partners. So you can be more free in terms of your comps uh, and situations. Uh, Vanitas is pretty much Galante 2.0. I'm not saying he's exactly like him, but in terms of Look, I mean, look at him. He's look, look at he's proud of himself. I mean, like, yeah, you know, if you put the two together, they're pretty much they're they're gentlemanly. Uh, well, this one's kind of more so of a jerk, but yeah, you know, this guy's this is jerk Galante. This is pretty much what he is. Jerk Galante is also the attacker Galante. Uh, it's funny how people just call it, like label this thing Galante. You know, it's true. It's it's pretty much Galante, but you know, the jerk version. He's he's not a nice. He's not a nice monster. <laughs> He's a jerk. He enjoys tormenting brother. Look at this. Every morning when he wakes up, Vanitas looks into the mirror and sighs, infatuated by his own beauty. So he's also kind of got a boosted ego here. He looks at his brother uh, in Vidya, then looks at himself again and laughs. The more his brother hates him, the more beautiful he, he sees himself. So pretty much he enjoys. He enjoys insulting his brother. He's a jerk. <laughs> he is a, he's a real jerk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this monster's a real jerk again. Uh... What's uh, what's this guy do? He does uh, he's, he brings a few unique things into the table, uh, but I I don't know if anyone will actually take advantage of the unique stuff in his kit. Uh, maybe you will. Maybe uh, maybe you the viewer will take advantage of the unique stuff. Uh, but I think a lot of people will just go with an attacker build or just like more so just focus on him doing damage than anything else. Uh, that's pretty much what this guy does. And he actually, in all honesty, in terms of single target damage, he does it pretty well. Uh, his power is 3,421. This is uh, lower than the gospel power, but not too low. You know, it's it's not like 3,300 something. Uh, it's a it's an all right thing. It's like uh, the gospel power is 3,465. A little bit under it, but that's all right. It's it won't it won't make too much of a difference in a fight. But you know, you know, you just keep in mind you're not running the norm uh, damage uh, in terms of damage monsters. So you probably would run two strength runes on this thing. Uh, to be perfectly honest, uh, to just to do that. <laughs> uh, life is 27,445. This is uh, alright life. It's not too high, not too low. In the middle. It's okay. Uh, speed, 3,432. Uh, in, in all honesty, with this speed, uh, this speed's alright. <laughs> uh, in terms of attacking speed, you know, yeah, it's alright. You don't really look too much into the, the speed set for in terms of attacker. Uh, you look more so into its power and its life, how much can it take and how much damage can it dish out. Uh, the speed stat is just there just to see if, like, if you put a speed rune on it and the other monster's running the same level, who gets to go first based on the base speed. That's, that's essentially all that really is to this speed stat. Uh, people are bothered when the speed stat is extremely low, uh, Sometimes that's sometimes when it's low, it has a really great power. Sometimes that's not justified. Uh, but yeah, we usually look into the. Some people actually do consider speed stat a relevant thing in terms of attacker. I think it's the life and the power that matter the most because it's not really the the attacker isn't a denier to begin with. If anything, you're looking for you're looking for first turn rights in terms of that the beginning of the battle who gets to move before who like in terms of attacking wise in terms of the attacker is, is it your attacker that gets to move first or is it the enemy's attacker and sometimes that's really irrelevant uh you know if you you know because you, if you deny first anyway you know then you you for sure get a turn then you're just going to stun him or something like that or 
you know, you use a move that prevents them from denying you so you can continue to beat on them. Uh, you know, that silly stuff. Uh, but, you know, it, sometimes it's, it's, it's situational at best. In terms of speed for attackers, it's situational. Uh, it totally depends on what's going on. Trade is immune to possession. He's immune to his own kind's uh, deny, in all honesty. That's kind of the main point of this trade. And it goes great with one of his moves that I'll talk about later. Uh, essentially, this just keeps your, him under your control. He doesn't ever change sides. He's loyal. Uh, you want to think this thing would be loyal. <laughs> this is That's the last thing you got. You'll think about this guy, if, if he would be loyal or not. <laughs> but yeah, he's immune to possession, so he's always going to fight for you if you have him, so just keep that in mind. Uh, he'll never attack your, any of you, his monsters, any of his, his allies, which is interesting. You think he would just go for like a different trade and just like, if he is possessed, you'd beat the crap out of his allies. But, you know, nah. Nah, he's immune to... He's, he's apparently loyal. <laughs> he's apparently a loyal jerk. <laughs> uh, tickets on myself. Deals heavy magic damage to all enemies. Heals by 30%, gains 25% of stamina attacker. Will reflect all uh, enemy attacks. Uh, this doesn't really give the... Uh, the whatchamacallit. In fact, it's totally labeled wrong. <laughs> this move is labeled wrong. I, I just see it as a single target move, 50 damage, uh, and it heals 50% of your health and 50% of your energy. This pretty much gives you 70 stamina back and it restores 50 per half of whatever your hit points are. It varies depending if you put on a life rune, put a life rune on this thing, if you build the extra guy build with this thing or not. It totally varies by that. Uh, I'm going to mention a group, uh, skill in group, skill groups 1 here. Uh, it is Ego Boost. Gains 25% stamina, heals by 25%. This is also gives you a damage boost. It's a single turn cooldown, 30 stamina. It's a self move. Uh, basically, this is a mini recovery move. You can use it basically every other turn. Uh, and, you know, it just gives you damage boost. This, it's, it's, it's an alright move. Let's say you are injured. Uh, this is, it's an alright move. Uh, it totally depends on the situation, though, if, you, if you've chained a knight. You can really, uh, realistically speaking, you can only ever use this move when someone's denied, in all honesty. You can only ever use it at that point. Uh, but beyond that, you know, it's not too relevant. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just, uh, you can run this move. Feel free to run this move. I'm just saying it's an, it's an alright move to run. Uh, you don't have to run this move. Uh, it's just, uh... I okay it. Uh, I mean, like, I give the thumbs up. It's If you run this move, it's alright. Uh, it's, you know, mini recovery, mini energy refill, uh, and, you know, it just gives you a boost of damage. That's all there is to it. It's a self buff. That gives you three things. Uh, everybody, look at me. Deals moderate magic damage to all enemies. Requires a cooldown of three turns, 40 damage, 38 stamina. Uh, the stamina cost for this is pretty high. I would have loved it to be th 45 damage. In all perfect honesty, I don't know why they made it 40. Uh, there's really no point in making it. It's either 35 or... Make it either 35 or 45. That's your... That's That should be the thing. That's not, though. In the situation, it's a 40 damage move. So we have 5 less power uh, than a normal 45 damage AoE. Sometimes that could matter. Sometimes it depends on the situation. What runes you're running. Are the enemies tanky? If you had that maybe that 5 more power, you could have killed something. It, it can matter at times. Uh, in terms of just, you know, base damage on moves, that, that sometimes matters. I will say that, that that sometimes matters what the base damage is for the uh, move. That that totally matters, in all honesty, that, that matters. Uh, with In terms of the power of a monster, if you have high enough strength runes, it doesn't matter. But uh, in terms of base power of the moves, that does matter. You can miss killing something if you get dam you know, if, if this goes down, into, if you get, like, damage reduction or something like that, and you know you do less damage, that's, that can be, that can, like, you know, you, you can save the monster, the enemy monster, essentially, and they could do something that you're not going to like, and it essentially makes you lose the game. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just a small thing. It's an alright AoE, in all honesty. 35 is the minimum people take for in, how, how low in terms of damage output. Uh, but, you know, we, we would like this to be 45, in all honesty. Uh, if it could be. I love me. <laughs> I love me. <laughs> Deal, you gotta say that. You, gotta, you can say that. Yeah, that's how you gotta say that move. You gotta say, I love me. <laughs> Deal, deals heavy special damage. Gains damage boost. Requires a cooldown of two turns. 50 damage. Uh, 28 stamina. Odds are people would run this move, and if they if they did, if they ever like, if they thought about using Ego Boost or I Love Me, they'd probably run I Love Me because it does damage. That's a valid choice or just a valid statement. Uh, that's why if if they do if they run between ego boost and this move they probably run I love me just because it does initial damage. This guy is your attacker, so yeah, just straight up. Uh, most people like the only exception like in terms of self setup if it does double damage most of the time you know double damage and precision you know like Osteoclast, Barbatos, Razul you know all those guys that have like great 
like like really strong damage boost buffs, uh, where it's boost buffs. As usually, what you see on an attacker in, in terms of buffing, self buffing, we usually just see them set up damage because that's that's a relevant. In all honesty, double damage, triple damage, or damage boost is relative to attackers. That's that's a great boost for attackers. Uh, everything else though is kind of iffy, and this this thing ha does have a move and skill grip three that is kind of questionable to it, uh, since it is mainly a damage dealer. Uh, and you might feel mixed about it since you're running two strength runes on this thing. If you would feel awkward. Out. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, arrogant punches deals insane hit special damage, gains immunity to stamina. Uh, it has no cooldown, and you're pretty much immune to stun the whole game. Uh, for as long as this thing is zero turn cooldowns, you gain immunity to stun for three turns. <laughs> uh, personally, this is an awesome move. In all honesty, uh, if they don't have any way to clear your, you know, the buff, even if they cleared the buff, in all perfect honesty, even if they cleared the buff, I don't think it's like something that removes all positive effects. You can just apply it again. This That's uh, pretty relevant. This was the move uh, that I'd said would combo really well with Im is trade, immunity to possession. Uh, essentially, you can keep things like Uru off you. That's pretty much what this move mainly is. You can keep Uru off you. I think that might be really valid, actually. Uh, because you, you, usually in a team war situation, I can see what people are doing. They will either bring Pixel Lion to freeze you and like instead of like using an AoE possessor they'll probably use something to use like a they'll probably use like uh, pixel line to freeze him and or Uru to stun uh, if you're Denier, like essentially if your Denier just straight up denies Uru if they made a misclick and they didn't realize your, your Denier was faster than theirs the enemy denies the Uru and this thing does arrogant punches uh, Uru basically can't deny, stun you at this point <laughs> uh, essentially that it just keeps Uru off your back or any just AoE stunner in general this protects you from them this protects them from earth monsters this protects them from uh, magic monsters or just any again anything that stuns anything that's mainly known to stun uh earth monsters are known to stun uru is ma uru, the magic monster is uh mainly uh known to stun uru is uru is this thing right here this uh this manga monster right here uru <laughs> uh so yeah, that's what arrogant punches are used for. I do recommend this move. You should be putting this move totally on it. Uh, you should probably run everybody look at me too, just because this is AOE. It's your dam is it's your, it's your damage dealer. You need a, you need an AOE. Uh, if you if you, if an if an and honestly, if an attacker isn't if it doesn't have an AOE, uh, it just does it doesn't mean they're bad. It just means the game's gonna take longer. Uh, just keep that in mind. <laughs> just keep that in mind when you're using this thing. Uh, or not using this thing, I mean just in general, in, in terms of attacker. If an attacker doesn't have an AoE, the game's gonna take longer because it's taking them more time to kill things. Uh, they need to they need to focus on monsters at that point. If they don't have any AoE, it just means it, it's good. That means they just have to focus it out. They less monsters die faster than they would from AoE damage. And all honestly, if you do double dam, if you have double damage on an attacker and you do an AoE, the, it clears most of the field. Uh, in all perfect honesty, beautiful. Beautiful, uh, beautiful knuckles. <laughs> Deals very heavy magic damage. This is a 65 damage, one turn cooldown, 28 stamina. This is a pretty awesome uh, damage move. Remember when I said this guy excels at single target damage? Now we're getting to it. Now we're getting to the big points. Uh, this is a heavy hitting magic move. It's a single turn cooldown. So basically, this is kind of anti time Euron. It's a single turn cooldown. So even if we did cooldown uh, activated it only is gonna last for that turn uh, next turn he'll be able to use it uh, yeah I think the only problem with this is the uh, enemy time you could space time that's a possibility so you have to wait more to even use it and he could stop time there's a lot of possibilities let's not get too into it but yeah uh, sometimes this can be helpful for you uh, it's especially helpful against metal monsters metal monsters are a pain and when you have a 65 damage move on a single turn cooldown you can bet that something like metal monsters are not going to have a fun time. Uh, specifically, metal head, specifically, time mirror If you get to move before time mirror you know, if you stamina drain time mirror uh, anything that pretty much is a metal monster, this is a bane for metal monsters. This is you use this move, something takes really effect, very effective damage, and odds are, depending on your strength runes, they could die just straight up in there. Uh, just straight up. Uh, all is vanity. Uh, deals very heavy special damage, gains precision, requires a cooldown of a single turn. Uh, this is another great move, in all perfect honesty. This just increases his resistance. Now he's immune. Now he's pretty much good against things that just straight up blind, like uh, Stone Cookie. There are blinding monsters in the magic category. Uh, let's see here. 
There is bu -bu 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 -bum. Cupid, Cupid, I do believe Cupid blind, single target blind, uh, Song Cookie, AoE blind. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I think that's in terms of blinding. Uh, I think I, oh Galante blinds Galante blinds. So that's uh, that's another that's another uh, score for him. Uh, he's got something against Galante. Uh, egg eater, egg eater blinds. Do 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 do. I don't remember if Galante Jr. I don't think he blinds. In terms of blinding, I I don't know. I don't remember Shan Shannon's pet blinds either. But you know that, that that's most of it. You get my point. Uh, also good against Invarv here. Invarv blinds. Invarv's a known to AoE blind, AoE days. So he can protect himself against that too. I find that valid. <laughs> That's very valid. You do run this move. You totally, you totally do. Uh, beautiful, best view in the world. Okay, so this is pretty much his unique move. Uh, makes target burn. So essentially this burns him, but attacker reflect all attacks back. Requires a cooldown of three turns. So you can reflect... Any move, like literally, you for the next three turns, you have this buff. This this buff lasts for a long time, actually. This is probably the longest mirror mirror uh, last uh, uh, last time it was like two turns from Gretchen. Uh, in terms of you know AOE mirror mirror lasts for two turns if it lands. Uh, this lasts for three. So once he's used this move, uh, and you have you have this for three turns. Uh, if they do an AOE, it's reflected back to the enemies. Uh, it's kind of hard. I, I think that's how that works. In all honesty, if there's a monster with mirror mirror up, you do an AOE, it's reflected back at you. So doing AOE damage is kind of hard to do. Uh, personally, uh, this is mo this move is really hard to put on this monster because it is your attacker. It doesn't do any damage. You might not even run the. In all honesty, if you're running this as an attacker, you will probably not run this move. In all honesty, you probably won't. Uh, this is more so like for fun move. Uh, and in all honesty, the cost isn't high and all honesty you can get rid of the cost uh you know it costs the cost being you have to burn yourself you can get rid of the burn there there are countless monsters that can re get rid of burns uh specifically invarv uh is a great help to that uh if you show wished invarv or and or a loxora you could run her too and you'll be fine uh both of those monsters i just mentioned are light monsters uh do 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 do, do. luxor right here invarv right here uh both of those monsters can help clear the debuffs, or pretty much like any, like, uh, most most light monsters can clear debuffs uh, from your allies, uh, if you so wished. Uh, so overall, the main the main moves that I would run in all per perfect honesty, I'd have, I'd run the AoE, uh, attackers just need it, I would run this thing as an attacker, so I would run everybody look at me, arrogant punches keeps him from being stunned, uh, all his vanity keeps me immune to blind. Blind, being blind, and honestly, if you're an attacker and you're blind, you're not ha you're not happy at the moment. It's just not fun. And you run beautiful field knuckles for against heavy uh, machine monsters intentionally. Uh, sometimes the mo middle monster may live from this, depending on. Of course, it only depends on the level of runes you hit a middle monster with. But if you're running, uh, if you're running all his vanities, you it's uh, 60 damage again. In terms of damage output, this is nothing to really spit at. One turn cooldown, one turn cooldown. Very valid monster. In all honesty, it's a very valid monster. Uh, uh, like in terms of overall, it's not personally. This thing isn't my f most favorite monster in the event. Uh, but it's it's, it's, it's a, there's a weird, there's a few reasons for it. Well, I don't really like the design. <laughs> the design looks really. Yeah, it's not the it's not the most best design. I, I don't like this monster. Oh, Steve, <laughs> I don't I don't like this monster at all. It's just it's just in terms of design, I don't like it. Uh, it's it's just it's kind of mainly damn. I mean, like this thing has a spe like, Another thing is it has a really it has, like the signature move. You probably won't ever use it. <laughs> That's kind of bothersome with like with, with monsters with signature. There's a, there's always a signature thing with monsters sometimes, and it's bothersome when you don't run the signature move. Like if you if you run the signature move, you feel like you get punished <laughs> uh, because like in this situation, it's not because you get set on fire. It's the fact you're not doing damage. <laughs> uh, that's kind of that's kind of bothering. Over, I'm not saying this monster is bad. I'm not saying I don't like the damage output this thing. I just overall, it's not my most favorite monster from this event in terms of design, in terms of backstories. Just his backstory is totally just him being a dick. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, this is a really good. I'm not saying again. I'm not saying this is a bad monster. This is a pretty in terms of like competitive viability. This is a pretty straightforward monster. Uh, damage is pretty even. You know, it's just pretty. It's mainly just damage plus bu a buff of sorts, kind of with this monster. Uh, in terms of what it does, yeah. You know, in perfect honesty, between arrogant punches and uh, all his vanity, you know, it's it does it does damage while it buffs himself it's that's a pretty valid thing i think that's really neat uh 
It's just a shame he doesn't use his signature move. Like, even if I... Like, you could do... In all honesty, you can do the extra guy built set. You know, strength, life, and speed. You know, just uh, take advantage of this set if you want. You know, because you need to be able to stay out there longer. If you use Mirror Mirror... Mirror Mirror is essentially counter. So if you... The more damage... You, like, you're going to be taking damage. Uh, it's kind of hard to enjoy this thing, in all honesty. Because you are the attack... You do want to focus on killing things. You don't want to take the time to really... You know, just you know, just, you don't usually take the time to set it up. This is, I will say, this move is pretty relevant in the case of the event they are like. Let's say you have, they have like a possessor that isn't immune to possess, and you use this move, and you're pretty good. You're, I was gonna say you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's hard to use. It's hard, it's very like it's it's just uncomfortable using. It. I I can imagine this move being very uncomfortable to use. Uh, for most situations. It's a really great move, but it's your attacker. You want to do damage right away. It's it's, it's just awkward to use. Uh, I think this can help you in trades. I think I can see this move helping you in trades uh, when you get stuck. It again, it just feels really awkward because it is your attacker. And looking at all these like all these damage, you, you can't really take anything out of it. This is basically his best, in terms of best moves, like best situations, this is basically his best set. Everybody look at me. Arrogant Punches, All His Vanity, and Beautiful Knuckles. All these moves are pretty relevant, I will say, in terms of damage output set. And this is guy is a damage dealer. So it's got, you're taking away damage, and and straight up like self support, and it's not it's not double damage. Going back to like the remember when I said about like double damage. Usually when like when we're talking about like buff moves for an attacker, most of the time you see buffers like use a kind of a move that helps them in like terms of getting rid of enemies. You know like double damage uh, and all that jazz. Uh, you know, I said pig back in the beginning, like, you know, I did Piggery Doo's video. Uh, you know, this monster, I, uh, I don't even have to pull it up. He's right here. Piggery Doo, I did say, like, you know, the, the regen. Because that was designed for, it's, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of designed, it's kind of the point of the monster, uh, you know, long term, in terms of a long term play. This guy was kind of designed to make things, this guy wasn't meant for a long game. This guy was meant to do a lot of damage. Uh, so, judging him on that regard, I mean, like, th there are some exceptions in terms of self-buffing, but most of the time, in terms of uh, self-buffing for, like, attackers, we want them to do a damage boost of sorts. He does do that in Ego Boost, but, you know, it's not double damage, uh, and you, and if anything, you do the special move best view in the world, and that's not double damage, so you can see the confliction there. <laughs> uh, again, overall, I, again, this monster is pretty in terms is a pretty straightforward monster in terms of competitive play it's usable i will say this is a usable competitive monster you run two strength runes and a speed rune and you do the damage set uh if you want to do a fun set you can run the best few in the world you can run ego boost and you can run uh you can run the stun move you can run the stun move uh but best few in the world eric and bunches uh, ego boost and then you probably run uh all is vanity. <laughs> that's that's literally the most set you probably run. Uh, you run the extra guy move for that set, and I'm saying for the extra guy set at, that is, uh, you could run full. You could probably run two speeds and a lot. I'm not two speeds, uh, a speed and two life runes. You could just do the memes and run mirror mirror. In all perfect honesty, you could do a tank set with this thing. I can see this thing doing a tank set, but you know, it's I don't know how val competitively valuable it is in war. Uh, pretty much, you're just hoping that the enemy beats themselves to death because this lasts for three turns. <laughs> like for as long as this guy is up on the field, uh, you know, he has to pass on three turns too. So if this thing was slow, and all honesty, if this thing was slow, he'd reflect everything back. Uh, so which would be pretty great. I mean, it'd, it'd take a long time for him to have to reset the buff again. Uh, but overall, yeah, that's uh, you'd, you'd more than likely build the attack set. It's just, yeah, just not my most favorite. Mo I guess not my most favorite monster in the event. Uh, Again, really great monster. Again, really, really great monster. <laughs> uh, partners, real quick. Uh, anything that applies double damage, straightforward, double uh, like buffers. Uh, rep uh, you can't run reptile. Reptile is a magic monster, uh, but you know, just buffers, light monsters d that give double damage buff. Uh, epic monsters. You know, for in terms of epic monsters, uh, you know, Wolfington, uh, Master Fawn, You know, legendaries. You know. And uh, Lux, Aurora, Demise. There's one more. There was one more that gave double damage. Uh, oh, Val Valgar the Pier gives double damage too. That's another one. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are other monsters that get double, double damage, but that's the kind of the stuff I think of at the moment. Uh, oh, uh, Incognito also does it too. Uh, there are other. There are other. I think there are other monsters that give double damage. But oh, Invar. Uh, not Invar. Uh, <laughs> Fire Lake Queen gives double damage. Where is he? He's right here. 
Finally, Quinn does double damage. Basically, you know, buffers. Buffers in general uh, can essentially help him out. Uh, I can't think. I can honestly, I can't think of any more at the moment. But you know, that's pretty much it in terms of partners. You know, it, it's pre it's a simple simple comp denier plus uh, buffer. That's all this guy really needs to get going. Uh, you can run uh, Kalex, Sarah, and Monster Device with this thing. Those are valid options. You make him immune to freeze. You're essentially you can essentially make him immune to every single deny except like you know the advanced stuff. Uh, in the game, basically, because, like, he's already immune to possession, so that's one thing, so if you have, like, uh, Kalex that can make you immune to stun and freeze, then you're good to go, <laughs> you're all, you're all good at that point, uh, and it's, it's just all straightforward, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it, to Vanitas, <laughs> I hope you love this guide, let me know what's your favorite monster in the event, uh, let me know why, I, I'm curious to know, my favorite monster, uh, just overall is Avaritia. Uh, it's because I, I like the uh, design overall. The design's really great. The design reminds me. It's just a really fun design. Uh, it's got an interesting style of play. I find the style of play interesting. Obviously, uh, this monster isn't too great for the competitive scene. It's just, you know, something different. It's, it's a fun monster, and I, I do enjoy monsters that are different. Uh, let me know what's your what's, let me know what's your favorite one in the event. Uh, so, yeah, I'm Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.